This is going to be a tutorial on how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube using the Yao method. So, I've already scrambled it, and I'm going to go through the steps as I solve it. So, it's going to be more like a walkthrough. So, first thing you want to do is solve two opposite centers. And one of them should be the color that you normally start with on 3x3. Three three. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I've got the white center, and now I've got the yellow center. So now that we have two opposite centers, we can do the next step. And the next step is to solve three edge pairs. And what I mean by that is this. A blue, I have a blue and white edge right here, and I'm going to put it on the top layer. Just like that. You want to do two more of those. And once you get a second one, you want to put it in the correct relation to the other edge that you put. So, red, white, and blue. That's an easy way to remember it. And then one more. Alright, so I got this orange and white. And I want to put it in the incorrect spot. So, it would normally go here, but I'm going to put it right here, next to the red. Because when you insert the last edge later on, you want to push this one out of the way and put it in the correct spot. I'll explain later, it's kind of hard to explain. So now the next step is to solve the last four centers without messing any of this up. So you can kind of hold it like this, and you can use your left index finger for this, and your right hand for these moves. You just want, don't want to disturb these. It might take a little while to get used to, and might feel funny at first. Okay, so I got the green center, and uh, just do the blue. And I got the blue, so red would go here. And That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> now that I got all of the rest of the centers, I can get my last edge pair, which is weird. It's right there. So, I'm just gonna mess that up for a second. Okay. Okay. So, you have your last edge pair that you need to pair up. So you're going to pair it up and find the incorrect edge. And then you want to push this one out of the way so it goes in the right place. Bring in this empty space and bring this down. So now they're all in the right spot, as you can see. And you just want to put the centers back to normal. So, yep. So now you have your cross done, which comes in helpful. Comes in handy, not helpful. Okay, now you just want to pair the rest of the edges. And the way you can do that is, like, I'm going to do the orange and blue as an example. And you want to make sure that this, like, if one's here and one's down here, you want to make sure that the same color is like this, and bring this spot, this layer up, this here, and that back down. So now they're opposite colors. And you just, you can keep doing that, like, all the way around. And if they're opposite colors, just push it over here and bring this layer up like that. It's a little weird. Okay. And then bring that. And bring that. And bring that. Okay, so now I'm almost done with edge pairing. Just have these last two. You want to avoid having two edges left, because then you have to mess up your cross a little bit to a flipping algorithm, and then you gotta fix your cross, and that just wastes time. So you wanna try to do them all in one or two, like, edge pairing cycles-ish, something like that. I don't know what to call them.
So now you just continue solving it like a 3x3. Three three. So you, because you already have your cross down. So I see this is F2L. And then I see this. And then I see this. And then I see this. And I have parity. Yep. So that's basically how to do the Yao method. It's not that hard, and it, you don't need to know any new algorithms. It's just kind of like a different steps to do it and kind of reduction so yeah i f hope you found this helpful and this concludes the review